In this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate just how easy it is to hack into our Raspberry Pi using the setup we currently have. The first thing we need to do is log into our Raspberry Pi over the Wi-Fi connection. Default username is Pi, password is Raspberry. For demonstration purposes, I have created a uh, password list here called password.txt and this is a very simplistic password list that contains both the entries lowercase pi as well as raspberry. Other password lists contain many more entries and this one is just for demonstration purposes. Using a program such as Hydra which you can download using sudo apt-get install Hydra we can uh, attack our public IP address over port 22 the SSH port the way you go about doing that is all you have to do is specify your password list or specify a list of potential usernames, specify a password list, point it towards your public IP address, and specify that you're attacking SSH. If you do that, you'll see that in only a moment the Raspberry Pi was able to discover its own credentials, Pi and Raspberry, using the password list we gave it. Now sure, the password list was simple, but the Raspberry Pi as an attacking computer is also simple. If we used a more powerful machine and a real password list, we would still be able to crack in uh, through a similar way. Now if you look at this command that I used with Hydra, you'll see that I specified SSH, and the default port for SSH is port 22. What we can do is we can change that port, and I will show you how to do that, how to change the SSH port so that we obscure where our Raspberry Pi is on our public IP address. A um, similar reason to why a tank has camouflage on it, if we hide our Raspberry Pi Away, uh, off of port 22 we're going to get a lot less activity on our Pi from would-be hackers. However that is not invulnerable of course if we use a program such as nmap which you can also download off the web using the sudo apt-get install command uh, and we specify our public IP address. We can scan that address and in just a moment we can see which ports are open so we can see port 22 is open now a bot may not perform this scan on every IP address that it chooses to attack because it consumes time and a lot of people who are out there to ruin your day are really trying to ruin everybody's day not just your own but if you did have somebody that you upset who is trying to get into your system specifically they can easily check see oh he's actually not on port 22 well we are in this case but if we were to change it be on a different port and that's why we need to change our username and or password depending on how secure you want to be next couple videos I'll show you just how you do that